Hey guys, Tegan here from BlueSense Digital. What are the five most important checks that you need to do in the Google Merchant Center when you first get access to, let's say a client's Google Merchant Center account or when you first create your own Google Merchant Center account? So diving into this account for a second. So let's dive into these top five checks one by one. So the first, when you first, let's say create your Merchant Center account, number one, you want to ensure that all of your products have been approved in the Merchant Center and you can come and check that via or by going to products and then diagnostics and you'll see all of the issues or potential issues that are affecting your account. As you can see here, we've only got a couple mild restrictions. We have no products disapproved. Um, just to explain this in further detail, if you have a mild um, disapproval on a product or a restriction, the product will still serve but it'll just serve to limited audiences. If the product is disapproved, like these products were here, they simply won't serve on Google at all because they are disapproved, and you'll obviously need to troubleshoot those errors. Just to reference, we do have a, a Merchant Center playlist with a whole lot of videos troubleshooting all these possible errors that you could be facing. So be sure to check those out. From here, if all of your products are approved in the product section, the next check to do is up here in feed issues and account issues. So any sort of feed issue will appear in here. These typically aren't that common, but that's just something to note. The next step is account issues, still on check number two. Um, again, these aren't, or generally speaking, aren't too common. But again, if you are um, experiencing or, or have got an account issue here, you need to fix that as soon as possible because this can potentially get your Merchant Center account banned. So that was check number two. Check number three is your shipping rates in the Google Merchant Center. So to, to check these or to set these up, go to tools and settings, then shipping and returns. And then in this section here, this is where you can set up your shipping service. So there are obviously a huge number of ways to do this. Essentially, these shipping rates need to match the shipping rates that are charged on your website. And if they do not match the match or are more expensive than the shipping rates that are charged on your website, you'll get shipping rate disapprovals and your products will not show in certain areas due to that disapproval. Just to uh, dive into that a little bit more, so how these shipping rates work in the Merchant Center is, as I've just mentioned, you'll only receive a restriction or some sort of error if the shipping rate that is charged on the Merchant Center is less than the shipping rate that is charged on your website, because essentially that is fraud. Because essentially you, you, you're offering a, or you're promoting a shipping service that's let's say $100, but in actual fact on your website, it's actually $150. So you're promoting something on Google that isn't actually real, and therefore you get banned for that. If it's the other way around, if let's say on the Merchant Center, you're charging $150 to ship a certain item from a certain area, and on the back end of your website, you're charging $100, then you won't get any error at all because you're advertising that you charge $150 shipping, where in actual fact, you're charging $100. So obviously there's no issue with that from a moral standpoint. Just a reference here as well, a good way to quickly fix your shipping rates if you're running into a shipping rate disapproval or for whatever reason you have an account um, shipping rate issue is if you just go back into that shipping rate section, what I like to do to get this error resolved temporarily while we work on building out the shipping rates to exactly match the website is add a holistic flat rate to the Merchant Center account. So. Um, just to quickly show you how we would set this up. Sorry, before I dive into this, why we would assign a flat rate is what we are in a nutshell doing is charging a, a holistic shipping fee that is higher than the maximum shipping fee that is charged on your website. And therefore, in no case would the shipping fee that gets charged in the merchant center be less than the shipping fee that's charged on the website and therefore never puts you at the risk of an account-wide disapproval or product disapproval resulting from a shipping rate error. So just to quickly show you this, um, just as a tech, or just to show you how this process, wo process works, um, flat rate, Australia, AUD at customer's address, then we'll need to put in the delivery times, 
just let that load for a second. So again, obviously you'll have to tailor these according to your specific business. I'm just putting these in as, as an example. Um, then next, and then from here or here, we can choose the flat rate. So we can choose a flat rate. Let's say the maximum shipping charge that you charge on the website on your website is two hundred and fifty dollars. We can set that at two hundred and sixty dollars. So all products that are advertised on the Merchant Center will have a shipping rate of two hundred and sixty dollars, which yes might not look great on the free listings end, but it will ensure that your products are still showing on Google temporarily while you sort out your shipping rates in more detail. So that was just a little bit of a value add there. Heading back out of this, um, that was check number three being the shipping rates. Check number four is specifically when setting up an account to start off with is checking that your free listings are enabled. So to do that, go to overview and then go to free listings or you should see a free listings tab up at the top here. If this hasn't been enabled, you'll see free listings are inactive. Now, obviously you always want to have these free listings active because this, this is simply free traffic that if you don't have these running, you're simply missing out. And there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't have these free listings running. So that is check number four. Then check number five is if you come up here to uh, tools and settings and then go to automatic improvements, ensure that all three of these have been turned on. The reason for this is that these automatic improvements ensure that you don't ever get any sort of price or availability mismatch errors um, due to feed sync delays between updates that are made on your website and when that feed resyncs to the merchant center. Because if updates are made on your website and let's say it takes 12 hours for that feed to resync to the merchant center, if a bot scans the merchant center and the website in that gap between where you made the website update and the feed is resynced, obviously the feed and the merchant center won't align um, and therefore it will cause these mismatch errors. So to resolve those, we enable these automatic improvements. And what this does is as soon as the website is changed, um, those prices automatically get updated on the shopping cards themselves, but they don't get updated in the feed immediately. So what you'll see is if you look at your product ad on Google or on you know the Google Shopping Network, you'll see that your product price matches the price that's on the website, but in the Google Merchant Center feed itself, so just to show you where you'd see the price in the Google Merch, sorry, in the Google Merchant Center feed itself, this would be the price here. So this Merchant Center feed price will still be different to the website price, but the price for this product that appeared or that appears on the actual card shopping card itself would match the price on the website because of these automatic improvements. So that's a good easy way to ensure that you don't get hit with huge volumes of uh, price mismatch and availability mismatch errors due to website changes that aren't resynced through to the merchant center immediately. So those are the top five checks. Just to quickly recap, the first was product disapprovals. The second was feed disapprovals or feed issues and account issues. Third was setting up your merchant center shipping rates. And if you are battling with those merchant center shipping rates or they're taking you longer than expected, ensure that you set a flat rate higher than the maximum uh, shipping rate that can be charged on your website as a temporary fix until you have finished the holistic setup in the merchant center. That was check number three. Check number four was ensuring that your free listings are set up. Um, obviously, there's no there's there's no benefit at all in having those free listings off. And then check number five was having or ensuring that your automatic improvements are turned on. So hopefully that was a help, and we'll see you in the next one.